expect something in ordinary time here be. The call for change and repentance. The call to repentance cuts through many pages of the sacred scriptures. It is necessary that we understand the cry of God, inviting us to conversion and inviting us to be his disciples. Our world today, just like in Nineveh, is full of many negative and diverse mentalities and ideologies that make it difficult for some people to make a difference between Christ and the Antichrist. The Ninevites were led to conversion only by the words of Jonas. Today, with Jesus Christ, we have more than Jonas. Jesus who appears after the departure of John to announce God's good news of salvation also calls for sincere repentance. It is better understood in the Greek word metanoia, which literally means a change of mind, a U-turn. Repentance means that anyone who was in love with sin comes naturally to make a U-turn and begins to hate sin. In the clarion call of Jesus for repentance, he invites those who are to work with him to be part of the mission's team. Those he calls are very simple. He took ordinary men and with them he changed the world. We have the Christ who says to us, follow me. We should therefore give up our nets, give up our boats, our boats of comfort, our nets of comfort and make a very great option, the option to follow Christ. Jesus calls for a specific mission or role. Viktor Frankl will insist that everyone has his own specific vocation or mission in life. The underlying factor in the call of Jesus is that we must be the change we want for the world. There is a need to convert the world, but we must begin by converting ourselves. Briefly, we must give up our old ways, change our ways, and believe in the gospel, and believe in the good news. In effect, it is a call for change and repentance. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>